What's up guys, Wayside Gamer here to unbox an Audio Technica turntable. Now I've been meaning to get this for so long now, I managed to get it for 170 bucks on Amazon. The reason why I didn't get it, it was 500 pounds everywhere. If you do, don't believe me, check everywhere you want, okay? It was 500 pounds everywhere and I managed to find it for 170 pounds in Costco. Now I was gonna pick up two, but I think try it, one it and uh, for, uh, see how it goes. So the turntables I've been using is the Bush turntables. Now they've been okay. One broke down on me, I had two of them. One broke down on me, one still up and running. Uh, but they're good, right? But they're really kind of budget turntables. They're not like this, like they're not like pure DJ ones, you know? So without me rambling on, let's unbox this right now. This is what the front of the box looks like. It says over here, Audio Technica, it's a picture of it. I said to go for the black one because that was the only one there. And yeah, it looks pretty boss too anyway. So it's not the silver one, but who cares? So here we've got Direct Drive Professional Turntable. This is the one I'd recommend to get if you're really into DJing. This model right here of the Technicas. It includes exclusive Audio Technica HS10 head shell, lightweight, Rigid design, gold plated, U shaped connectors fitted with Audio Technica AT958 cartridge. So there you go, that's what that looks, side looks like. And then here's some more screenshots of it, of it playing some records. Ah, this is far too. Okay, so pretty much when you get these turntables, I'll include those cables. Those cables are the ones you connect to your DG mixer set. You know, the thing that goes in the middle where you control all the sound of it. That's what those the cables connect into. So it's nice it comes with all those adapters. So that's really sick it is. So I'm gonna unbox this real quick and I'm gonna, you know, see what it looks like. But also, you also get um, software to record your, you know, your DJ stuff, whatever you wanna do with it. But let's unbox this beast. Okay, let's do this. One, ready, ready? All right, okay, here we go, we're ready. Over here we've got a box instead of a box. So let's put all this away. So it uh, clearly labels of what is inside all this stuff. Matte inside of here, do not discard. So don't throw that away. Over here is the actual turntable itself. We'll try and take this out without breaking it. It's a nice presentation, but it should be if it's worth like 500 pounds. And do not, number one, do not throw any of the foam away. I'll tell you that because it's, I'll tell you why in a minute. Here's the turntable itself, protected and it's all good. So over here, this is why I was telling you do not throw the foam away because look, you, there's stuff in here. This is where all like, the needles are, the spare needles and all that are, the extra stuff that you'll need to get started. I think it's this way I meant to. That's what all the stuff looks like in the box. Kind of opened upside down, but it's all good. Oh, well, this is nice presentation. This is what you call nice presentation. Take a sip. That's what you call, look at that. It's like a wee cushion, man, to put over it. Be careful when you do open this up, because I did open it upside down. Just please do not open it upside down like I did. So that's what the turntable looks like. It looks very nice and black. And it looks like this is already connected. Like I had to buy these cables separate and this already comes with it. That's nice. So I might actually take my ones back or just keep them as spare. So yeah, it comes with those cables you connect to your mixer. Amazing. That's what it looks like. But let's put all the stuff on it. Let's assemble it right now. So I'm gonna play it straight after this. So here's the cable to power it on. It looks like to um, power this bad boy on. And it also comes with the US plug. I have a different plug. But right, since I'm in the UK, I'll be using this plug. Heavy. And let's see where it goes. Right, let's see where the gate, this is very hefty. Very heavy. So on the back, so on the back, 
this is where the power goes. See that? That's where the power goes. This is USB to connect to your computer. This is to change from phone to line, uh, basically. So you just connect these to the mixer, and that's how it's done. Because on the top is where all your buttons are. Keep in mind, that's why there's no buttons in the back, either, like all the other turntables. Because they just start and stop. That's where you start and stop. This is where you power on and off. And it pay, plays 33, 30, 45, 35, and 45. And that's the speed of it. That's how much speed it'll go. And over here, this is the... It has actually have a light in there. So that means you can see what you're doing. So that means if you're DJing in the dark, because most DJs will be playing in the dark, uh, you can put the wee light on so that means you can see where all the wee lines are on the records. All my DJ people, you know what I'm, what I'm talking about. So that's pretty cool. So that's why I really highly suggest this turntable for all you DJs out there and all you other people out there, you know. Maybe for not the beginners, because when I started doing the DJ stuff, I just got the bush ones. I messed about with them, you know what I mean? And if I broke them or anything happened to them, it, would be much of a, it wouldn't be much of a loss to me. So that, and then now I've done all that, I know how to properly DJ now, I can just move into the big boy ones. So over here you got quartz and it says you can change the pitch to, from 20 to 10 and this is where you can you know, change like the pitch of the song too. I'm sure that's where you change the pitch of the song. So yeah. And also this is where you, your tone arm is. And look at the tone arm, look how hefty that is. Even the tone arm alone, man. Wow. I'm so glad it's slotted right in there. You could change other stuff with that as well. But let's just proceed with the box here. I'm just too excited. This is for yeah, all your computer stuff, basically, to record the software and there's all the cable, all the additional cables in there that you need for that. So that's really good. And this is the actual lid. Okay. Oh, that'll be good for protecting it when you're done, you know, you just put it right on top. I'm sure there's wee things you connect on the back so it clicks in from the back, I saw that. But we're going to put this to the side for now because there's still more stuff we need to do. Here is the plate. Here's the actual plate itself. Just like that. And there you go. I have to do it, but I have to do it. And there's your mat inside. Look at everything is nicely packed. Gotta give the company that. Beast mode. Ah! Oh. Oh. Put beast mode on, okay. I rarely put beast mode on. Okay. Sometimes these products get feisty. Whoops, whoops. That was the ultimate face bomb. I'm just mad excited. Ah! So here's the mat, we instructions over there. Install the counterweight on that. So make sure you install the counterweight, which we'll do afterwards. Okay, let's put this mat on. Okay, I'm excited. I'm having too much fun, man. Oh, I, oh, I told you guys, right? I told you guys, right? Before you put the packaging away, make sure you don't throw anything away. The foam pieces. What did I do? I threw the foam pieces away. Face palm. Let's go and get them. Make sure you don't throw it away because all your parts in here, like the, um, the weight thing, so that kind of balances the weight out. And the most important, the needle. You'll need that to play your records on. So here it is over here. So let's see how to install it. Let's see how easy it is. Just screw it in like that. And make sure you take the mouth guard off. Yeah, take the mouth guard off. If you don't want to be, that'll ruin the flow of your record playing. Uh, let's see what's in here. I don't know what's in there. I think that, now you're probably wondering what was these extra parts for was to clip in the lid properly from the back. Since I'll be taking the lid on and off, I'll just be leaving it just like the way it is. So, wait, you guys think I didn't, couldn't do it. So that's sick that is. I want to put the plug in and see how it looks. That's how it's set up now. That's really, how easy was that to set up? But it's, it's harder for me because I'm boxing it and all that, but let's, let's set this up and let's see what it, let's see what the record, a record kind of looks like on it anyway. But this is the, the mixer I'm using in the middle, it's the, I think it's the Berridge one. I'll leave a link in the description below. And this is, that was the old turntable I was working with. Look at it, it looks so basic and, but that can, that one had a exact same one on this side, but it broke down on me, so I'll take it back. So yeah, so let's just see what this looks like. Take a lid off. That's the lid off. I don't think I'll play a song. Copyright, obviously. So that's what they're good. Okay, it's. See, did I turn it on? Ah, that's it on. Red light indicating it's on. 
Freut mich, dass ich Yeah, it's playing stuff, it's playing stuff. That's what it looks like on. Let's see what I can do without the volume on. Let's see, can we do this? So basically, you just push it like that, and that's what the, that's what the songs will play. Like that, see? So that's pretty much it on, on the turntable. I'm very excited with this. I'll, just do, I'll do a review video of it, so you guys know what it looks like in more depth. This was a very rushed video because it's very hectic unboxing all this stuff. I wanted to unbox it really carefully. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but I managed to do one. But that's pretty much it. The unboxing of the Audio Technica turntables. Let me know in the description what you think down below. Leave a like if you like a video. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time. Now, a little story behind this vinyl. This vinyl was originally £506 as a collector's item, as it is. So basically, I went on Amazon, right to the Amazon warehouse deals, like I always do. Uh, I saw this, and I saw this here for £16 on Amazon Prime.